Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The very important person. Look what's come in the post. What a fancy envelope. It looks very posh. Let's see who it's from. Dear King and Queen Thistle, I have decided to come and visit your little kingdom today. I'll be arriving at dinner time. Yours sincerely, King Leopold. King Leopold? Yes. Never heard of him. He's heard of you, Daddy. Just think, a king. I'm a king. No, but a proper one. We must give him a royal welcome. He's a VIP. What's a VIP? A very important person. I'm a very important person. What is everyone getting so excited about? Have you heard the news? A king is coming to visit. It's written down in writing. Brilliant, isn't it? A real king. I'm a real king. It's so exciting that a very important person is coming. I want to tell everyone. I want to tell the marigolds. Hello. Hello, Queen Thistle here. Oh, my little sister. How are you? I'm fine. I just thought you'd like to know that we have King Leopold visiting today. Who's King Leopold? A very important person. A VIP? Oh, my goodness. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Then you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK, here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah, too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stod you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! 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 Here 
he comes! Let's start the music! Hello there! Ah! The nine! Evening, all! Get out of the way! We're waiting for a very important person! Oh, yes? Who's that, then? King Leopold! That's me! <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes! Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> oh, all that effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. Oh, oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! Oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongolay. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here we are, darlings. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name. Wise old elf. Do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. If I must, bump your booze and wiggle your wooers. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh dear, we're stuck with him for weeks now. This gnome king is incredible. If only <gasps> King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> oh, no, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. <laughs> a bee bop a doo 
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <laughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <laughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? Oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. And Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. Oh. Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought 
brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl, Ladybird, after all. No, Gaston's a boy, Ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How adorable. Little puppy Ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yeah. I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. Ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no. That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof, thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rockabye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby. Cradle and all. Dan will come, baby. Cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh! oh. 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 What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Shooting Star. With this telescope, I can see deep into space. Wise old elf, can I look? Yes. Right now, the telescope is pointed at the moon. Ooh, it looks really close. Can I have a go? Of course. If I turn the telescope this way, you can see distant stars. Amazing! Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time! Holly! Breakfast! No time, Daddy! A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Bear, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum. I'm off to see the shooting star. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star. It fell out of the sky. Excellent. So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <gasps> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Bleep! Bloop. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Hello, aliens. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, look. They've got a baby alien. I am not baby. Whoops. Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh, no, Your Majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. It's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. 
What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! It's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. No, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes, we go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello! Big people! Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no! There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. <laughs> Engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say Elf Skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Whee! Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Ben and Holly, the aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello. We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> Whee! time you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. OK, we will. See you soon. Bye. Bye.
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Spies! Look what came in the post! An invitation to the boating carnival! Ooh, I love the boating carnival! All the boats sailing on the river with music and dancing! But King and Queen Marigold always make fun of my boat. Oh. King and Queen Marigold are so snooty. Oh. Well, maybe the Marigolds won't be coming this year. Hello? Oh, hello, King Marigold. Thistle, old boy. Are you coming to the boating carnival? We've got an amazing boat this year. Oh, well, I've got an amazing boat too. Really? I can't wait to see it. Cheerio. Those marigolds are such show-offs. This time, our boat will be better than theirs. What boat is that, Your Majesty? Ah, uh, the boat you're going to build me. Me? Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense. Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it. Just build me a boat. So... How are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool. Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big. Just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies. Back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Me! 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 Barnaby Elf. You will be our spy, but first, you must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand, and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. Hello? Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no. It's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to Bamboo, everyone. Hello, Bamboo. Look, we're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is bigger. Ooh. You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops, I mean... Bamboo, do I know you from somewhere? No. Well, I'd better be going. It was nice to meet you. Bye! Mission accomplished. I found out all about the fairy's Viking boat. What's it like? It's big, 
bigger than ours. Then we'll start again. We'll make the biggest Viking boat ever. Yes, wise old elf. You weren't discovered, were you, Barnaby? No, they never suspected. I know where I've seen Bambi before. He was Barnaby in disguise. <gasps> the elves are spying on us. That's outrageous. But... Didn't we spy on them? That was different. We thought of spying first. So now the elves know all about our boat. Fine. We'll just find out more about theirs. Strawberry, you can be our spy. All right. You need to look like an elf. Bye-bye, wings. Hello, ears. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Vikings, Vikings, Vikings Brave and strong and true Sailing in our Viking boats Across the seas of blue <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front <laughs> that breathes fire! Are you sure it looks right? Hmm, maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> what an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? <laughs> it looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Hello, everyone. Have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. <laughs> I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> Hello. Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. 
fantastic. Well, thank you. It is the finest boat in the whole carnival. Hooray! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. The Lost City. Today, I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, set sail in my pirate airship. Where are you going? To the Lost City. What's that? An ancient place of great beauty. Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods and treasure. Oh, where is it? In the jungle. Far, far from here, a long and dangerous journey. All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh, take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. This is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle. Lost City, here I come. Oh. What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard. Oh. Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum. The Lost City. Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've had a bit of bad luck and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes. Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. <coughs> and the fairies. OK, we'll do a rescue mission. Emergency! Emergency! Let's get this plane loaded for a jungle rescue. Right, ho! Jungle tent. Jungle tent. Jungle first aid kit. Jungle first aid kit. Jungle clothes. Jungle clothes. And I've brought the jungle picnic. Cheese sandwiches and lemonade for everyone. Nanny Plum, this is a rescue mission, not a picnic. So, you still need sandwiches. You'll need these. What are they? Parachutes. Parachutes? Cool! Yes, I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho Airplane ready for takeoff. Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh. Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? <laughs> we can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. <laughs> then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, 
find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha-ha! Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you, me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... We thought you were trapped in the jungle, not sitting in a tomato plant in a shop. But this is where the lost city is. Look! Lost city? It's a load of garden ornaments. Come, come, Nanny Plum. You have to use your imagination. It's a lost city of pyramids, waterfalls and treasure. It's a load of plastic rubbish. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> Now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle and there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic. One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free. Come on, everyone into the airship. That's it. Let's go. Anchors away. Look. Uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello. Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up yeah. and away. Ha, 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 wise old elf. Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato 
Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Set sail for the little kingdom. Home we go. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> Baby dragon. <laughs> Go on, Gaston. Fetch. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world. Okay, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww. Do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. <coughs> Ugh, stinky. Hmm. <coughs> 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 It looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. <gasps> the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. <laughs> Aww, it's so sweet. <laughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <laughs> Bad ladybird. <laughs> what shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. What do you want, Gaston? Oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Aww! How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. Aww. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny, nanny. Hello, you two. <laughs> ah, a baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look. A baby dragon. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or 
What about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger. Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> he's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <laughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <laughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <sighs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you. It's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. Who's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are. Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Ah. Uh... Let's get going, then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right, then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <coughs> Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Oh, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. 
<laughs> Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Gaston's the best pet in the world ever! <laughs>